All right, number five. Now, this is just, yeah, kind of condense this a little bit. 300 coins in nickels and dimes worth 2580, how much of each? So first of all, you need to write let statements. Let n represent number of nickels. Now, I will take a half mark off if you just say let n represent nickels. You have to tell me what it's representing. It's representing the number of them. So d is representing the number of dimes, not just d represents dimes. It's the number of. If you're dealing with uh, kilograms of cashews, it's kilograms, not just cashews. So here it's the number of nickels and the number of dimes. Check, there's a mark. Now you write up two equations. Your first equation is that there are 300 coins. Now since n and d are the number of nickels and the number of dimes, if I take n and I add it to d, I get all 300 coins. So there's your first equation, number of equation. Your second equation is the worth equation. You need to know that a nickel is worth 5 cents. So 0 0.05 n plus 0 0.1 d equals the amount of money it's worth, 2580. Okay, check, check. There's two more marks because you got your equations. Now you're going to solve this thing. Now in order to solve this, I am always going to take equation 1 and I'm going to multiply it by the smaller of the two coefficients. So I'm going to take this and just write it underneath here and I'm going to times everything by 0 0.05. So n times 0 0.05 is 0.05n. Hopefully you can see that that's about to eliminate. d times 0.05 is 0.05d. That's a plus sign still. Uh, 300 times 0.05 is 15. And then, so this is equation 1 now. Whoops, why do I keep doing plus? Uh, I don't want to add, I want to subtract. These 0.05n's. Collect by one, please, Miss one. Subtract down, and that eliminates. Subtract down, you get 0.05d. Subtract down, you get 10.8. Divide by 0 0.05. And D is equal to 216. Cool. Now, N. I'm not sure if your teacher makes you show this work, but I don't. Um, I know that 216 of them are dimes, that, and I get 84 of them. So I'm subtracting from 300 there. So once you've got D, Subtract from 300, get n. So, one mark for the let statements, one mark for each equation, one mark for the work, one mark for the d, one mark for the n, but I won't give you that mark until you write a therefore statement. Therefore, there are 216 dimes and 84 nickels. All right, next equation. Interest equations. I find these ones to be some of the toughest ones for people to get their heads around, although it's not that tough. 4,500 is invested in two accounts. One of them is making 8%, one of them is making 6%. The total interest made is $279. How much is in each? Let x represent amount invested at 8% and let y represent blah 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 ditto six percent okay so remember this eights with x y's with six now first equation how much is being invested here well if i take x and i add it to y that's the amount invested what's the total amount invested well it's four thousand five hundred so don't set it equal to 279 that's the interest when you add up the two investments it goes to the total invested which is the 4,500. There's equation one. Now the next equation is the worth. Now if I take the amount invested and I invest it at 8%, that means when I invest it, I'm going to multiply here. So I multiply at 0 0.08. Remember, 0 0.8 is 80%. 0 0.08 is 8%. X plus, <coughs> excuse me, 0.06Y is equal to, and this gives you the amount of interest. 279. So make sure you've got these numbers right. X plus Y adds to the invested. And then when you multiply them by the percentages, then you get the interest. Okay, two equations. Check, check. Now, once again, I'm going to take the top equation, equation one, I'm going to write it underneath, and I'm going to times it by the smaller of the two coefficients, which is 0 0.06 in this case. So 0 0.06 times X plus 0 0.06 times Y and then 0 0.06 times 4,500 is 270. Subtract down. These ones go away. These ones go to 0 0.02x. 
This goes to 9, divide off the 0 0.02. Oops. And I go to 450. Yep, x equals 450. OK, now, if both of them are that much and x is 450, then y has to be 1,050. You guys cool with that? So just take 4,500, subtract that. There's x and y. Mark for the work, mark for the x, no mark for the y until you give me therefore. Therefore, x is 450, so 450. Ew, gosh, how's your writing? Just try to make this legible. Invested at 8% and 1050 invested at 6%. Done.